want to tell you about my worst date ever. <laughs> this was in August of 2008. I had just moved back to Nigeria, my home country, with a strong desire to help see Nigeria become the giant of Africa again. But I also wanted to find love. So I took this girl out, beautiful girl, out to a date, and we went to one of the best restaurants in Lagos. We had a wonderful conversation, and by the end of dinner, it was clear to me she was really digging me. <laughs> and then it was time to pay. And, and I hand my card, my debit card, to the waiter, and he tells me, oh, guy, it's not working. I'm like, what do you mean my card is not working? So just in case it was my card, I gave him a second one. And it still didn't work. By this time, she's probably thinking, what kind of 419 Nigerian scammer is this? <laughs> I had to leave her there and go to the ATM. I actually went to the three ATMs before I could get cash. Each of the first two said issue inoperative, which is a very common experience in Nigeria. 20 minutes later, damsel sitting there, I paid with cash. Funny story. But I want you to imagine now that being an emergency situation. In a country like Nigeria, where even at the hospital, no matter how urgent it is, you have to pay before you get served. The inability to pay is a real serious issue for us in Nigeria. And it is only compounded by the fact that only 30% of adults have a bank account, and only 15% of adults have a debit card. Everyone is using cash and it could cause serious issues for the country. Imagine having to go, even just on everyday things, to pay your bill, and it takes you three hours just to pay your Comcast bill, as an example, because you have to sit in this traffic. Or to stand in this line to get cash out of the ATM. I'm standing here, ladies and gentlemen, today because I truly believe that for any society to be successful, you have to solve payments. You need to have efficient pay payment systems that allow businesses to collect money for their services and allow individuals to pay seamlessly. This is not going to happen by magic. But the way it happens to solve payments is to actually provide devices that are connected to the internet and services that run on those connections. And the Nigerian consumer is not too different than you are. The Nigerian consumer does not care what device they use, whether it's a basic mobile phone, a, a smartphone, a tablet, laptop, or frankly, a wristwatch that's connected to the internet. They really don't care. They want to just get access to services and pay seamlessly. And Nigeria is leapfrogging the West when it comes to access to the internet. In 2005, only 4.9 million Nigerians were online. This year, that's estimated to be 70 million Nigerians. We are also moving very fast on mobile phones, and we have today the largest mobile phone network across the continent. 75 mobile phone subscribers, 60% of Nigeria is covered in mobile phone access. So these two trends, internet penetration, mobile phone adoption, is driving a revolution in payments, and Paga is at the leading edge of that revolution. I founded this company in 2009 with, out of a frustration I had carrying cash with me. And today, our 210-person strong team is building a ubiquitous platform for payments across Nigeria. And we're doing that in four key ways shown here. The first is really around building local service points in the community. Imagine going to your 7-Eleven store and being able to pay your AT&T bill Imagine going to that same store and being able to send deposit money into any bank account. The local service point, or agents as we call them, are providing services in the community and allowing people who do not want to use technology themselves to get access to critical financial services. Everything from payments to things like savings, credit, insurance, you name it. As one of my board directors calls it, he says this is the bank branch of the future. We also have an online platform for payments, very similar to PayPal. So now you as a consumer, you can go online in Nigeria and pay with your MasterCard, your Visa, or Verve, which is a local brand, or your Paga account. This is creating and spurring a whole new generation of online entrepreneurs who are starting various businesses, and the e-commerce business in Nigeria is starting to show real signs of, of growth. Similar to Square, which you've probably heard, we're building an in-store payment solution. 
So that restaurant I went to would actually have a better solution and a better way to collect my payment, Re whether I'm paying with a card or paying from my Paga wallet. Now remember, since most Nigerians are not banked, they can actually save their cash in the Paga wallet and use it as well. And we also allow you to pay from wherever you may be, using your mobile phone, either by SMS, mobile app, or online as well. So these are the ways that we're using to build this ecosystem. And I'm very proud of the achievements we have made since February 2011 when we launched to the general public. As of end of October, we have processed over 11 million transactions worth more than 750 million US dollars. I'm very excited that five days ago, we crossed two million users on our platform. And over half a million over half a million of these users are active in any 90-day period. 2,000 businesses are on Paga, and we have over 6,700 agents in 32 states of 36 in Nigeria, and I'm proud to say about 30% of those in their storekeepers are women. I really believe that we will impact the lives of young girls by focusing on our ecosystem and building young entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs, and growing the entrepreneurs that already exist in the ecosystem to either become shopkeepers in, the, in their neighborhood or agents in their neighborhood that are bringing financial services to the local community. And I believe that by creating employment, by creating jobs, this is the way that we will impact the lives of girls. The UN estimates that by 2100, Nigeria will have a population of 914 million people. This will be the second largest country in the world, next to India, and it will surpass the United States in population in the next 30 years. McKinsey estimates that by 2030, Nigeria will have a GDP of 1.6 trillion US dollars and will be a top 20 economy in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the opportunity for payments and the impact it can have on the world is real and on Nigeria is tremendous. And this is why we at Paga are working tirelessly to make sure that we can make life possible for millions of Nigerians. Thank you very much.